If you thought life was already unlivable, well, buckle up, because new taxes are on the way as soon as the new budget is announced. I've got somewhat of a new detail for you, and we're going to get into it now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Fringe. I've tried my best over time to make sure that anytime I got to deliver bad news, I try to do it in a lighthearted manner. I try to make stories as positive as I can, but there really is no positivity around getting in this story because, well, I got bad news for everybody. There's going to be more taxes coming out when the new budget is put forward April 16th. And, uh, well, we've been lied to, but the lies have told us that, well, <laughs> Uh, the taxes are coming. They haven't said where specifically, but we have video to talk today about why Justin Trudeau's liberals, of course, well, they talk about housing, when they talk about all these things they're going to do, school lunch programs, the increase in carbon tax, when they talk about all the things that they've promised people in order to buy votes for the next election, well, somebody's going to have to pay for that. And why not on the back of taxpayers? See here, Jenna Suds, liberal minister sitting down on CTV's PowerPoint. Uh, there's an article in regards to that uh, that I want to go over with you guys. But first, I want to take you guys through this interview or this clip of this interview and kind of explain why we know more taxes are coming, even though nothing's been confirmed. Let's take a listen to this video and then we'll go over the article. Why should Canadians believe that the money announced today will do what your government says it will? Not only do we need to make the math work, and not only do we need to see more rental housing built, do we need to make the math work? We need to see more rental housing built. When you talk about making the math work, if your government has only, with that program, uh, been able to construct or initiate the construction of 11,000 units out of a planned 71,000 by 2027, why, again, Again, should Canadians believe that even, you know, despite this program being well received as you describe it, it will actually work, which is what they need for it to work? Um, I think at the end of the day, what's important, regardless of what the number is, is the fact that new homes are being constructed. How is 23.5 billion new dollars in spending, in addition to a 40 billion dollar deficit, not inflationary? Yeah, I, you know, I think that confident governments invest in their people. I don't know and what this, that means. And this, uh, since our government came into power in 2015, there's been a tremendous amount of work happening on the housing front. Uh, I point, to what end for I Canadians? Point, My questions on behalf of Canadians are really geared towards whether or not there will be results for them. Will your government be introducing new taxes? There are no new taxes to be introduced. None. So you have ruled out any additional taxes, including a wealth tax, excess profit tax, nothing. I, I trust you'll see the budget as it rolls out. With all due respect, Minister, you said two different things in those answers. You first said that there would not be taxes, and when I asked you to clarify, you didn't say that there would not be new taxes. So can I ask you to be clear? Will there be new taxes? Uh, as I said, we'll see the budget as it comes out on so, April so, so no clear answer at this point? We'll see as the budget rolls out. That's telling in itself, and that tells us that, uh, well, if we thought the carbon tax increase was enough, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get significantly worse. At first, she says no new taxes. Then, well, we'll see what happens when the budget rolls out. While she sits there with her ear-to-ear -ear grin, by the way, all those MPs just got themselves a nice little pay raise on April 1st at the same time our carbon tax was increased. I don't hear too many conservatives talking about that pay raise. Uh, but, uh, Hey, let's get into why we think taxes are rolling out. Federal government has been rolling out bits of its upcoming federal budget over the last week. So far promising 23 and a half billion dollars in various new spending and loan measures. When asked whether this means the liberals are looking for additional revenue through new taxes, one federal minister was noncommittal. Of course, we've seen in the interview, uh, that just went on. I'm not going to go over the clip because, uh, we'll just get down to where she says there are no new taxes introduced on whether this means the liberals have ruled out wealth or excess profit tax. Sud says, I'll trust you'll see the budget when it rolls out on April 16th. 
I just trust that when it comes forward, Canadian will see. We already heard the quote. Question on why the country would have to wait and see, given the government is previewing a number of pieces on the budget in advance. Sud said that while some of it is being revealed, there will be more to come April 5th, <laughs> April 16th. Um, this is this is very frightening. Um, other outlets are speculating that we're going to see more, more taxes. And of course, this is the liberal government we're talking about. We know for a fact that more taxes are coming our way. Now, when it comes to everything that's been announced just in the last week alone, when you look at this one, uh, one billion dollars, I believe it was, uh, to go towards, um, the kids school lunch program. Again, I, I could be off on that. We've been talking about money so much. I'm probably off on that amount. Um, so I apologize. Uh, but the, the kids lunch program is nothing more than a, than a PR stunt. When you think about what the liberals considered a lunch program, it's going to be pencil shavings for kids. It's really going to do nothing essentially at the end of the day, much like when they talked about things like $10 a day daycare forever, that still hasn't been fully implemented across the country, by the way. Uh, but we're going to also see now that they talk about uh, building new homes. And if you watched our video last week about the announcement in Winnipeg about the government buying up property, well, just to renovate and build it and then give it back to people uh, to rent out on the government. <laughs> so you're, the government is essentially buying up property to rent it out to Canadians. Um, they're talking about 3,000 units being built at a time when we're bringing in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of new immigrants, a vast majority of them asylum-seeking immigrants into the country. The, the, the writing is on the wall, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at cities like Toronto that have been uh, grasping at straws to figure out how they're going to get the money in order to pay for the things that they essentially need after all their virtue signaling. It's no different when you look at the federal government, when you look at all the things they've announced, when you look at everything that's coming our way, they possibly they can't possibly do this. They can't make it work any further unless new taxes are coming our way. And of course, that's why uh, reporters like this one are asking the question: Are we going to see new taxes again? The reluctancy from um, from uh, Jenna here, Jenna Suds, tells me new taxes are headed our way, and um, I, for one, was optimistic about a possibility of taxes being reduced for April 1st with the pressure from premiers. I uh, was a little scared to see it roll around, but now I'm even more scared to see what comes our way come April 16th. As Justin Trudeau has shown, he's essentially going to do everything he can to destroy this country before he leaves office next year in 2025. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think there's new taxes rolling out our way? Do you think we're going to see... Some, some more tragedy in this country in order of affordability for people. Give me your comments down below. If it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Don't forget to hit your bell for notifications and join us live here on the channel every Friday night for Friday Night Fringe. Our live stream show starts at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Central, where we go over everything that's happened in the past week, everything coming up in the week ahead, and a little bit of back and forth with the community. It's always great to hear what you guys have to say outside of making these videos on a live chat, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you there this upcoming Friday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.